All right, what's going on, everybody? I am going to do another video tutorial for the assignment that we are working on right now, which is the levitation, the illusion of flying. So basically, to begin, you're going to need two pictures, all right? And you're going to want to make sure that you're shooting on a tripod so that this way your background is nice and empty. You're going to get a picture of an empty background. And then you're going to take a picture where you put your subject into that background. You want the frame around the picture to be exactly the same all right, in both images. So that way it's easy to uh, mix up or match up when you go to put it together. So picture with your subject, picture of an empty background. Let's start. So I'm going to first take this picture. I'm going to drag it and I'm going to drop it onto my empty background. Before I do, I'm going to hold down shift and let it go. By holding shift, it just automatically lines your picture up so this way you don't have to move it manually. The next thing that I'm gonna do is add a layer mask to my top layer, which is uh, the picture with my subject in it. Now, I'm gonna add my layer mask, which is gonna be a white layer mask. Make sure that that highlight or that thumbnail where your layer mask is highlighted, or just make sure it's highlighted and selected. Um, if it's selected like this on this thumbnail, where it's the picture, when you go to use your brush, it won't come out the right way. It'll either go black or to go white. And uh, I'll show you that right now, actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a brush. I'm going to make sure that top color is black. All right. And now if you look, I'm highlighted on my picture. So when I go to use my brush, it's going to paint the actual color. And that's not what I want. What I want is to make sure that my thumbnail uh, for the layer mask is highlighted. So that way, when I use the black, I'm going to use black on my white layer mask, which will allow me to see through that layer mask. So right now, what I'm going to do is I am going to take out what my subject is propped on. So I'm going to just use my brush. I'm going to try to do this really quickly. All right, so let me just take that out. And then what I'm going to do is zoom in. That's my brush size. Okay. I'm going to try to do this kind of quickly. So I don't have a super long video here because I know how you guys love to make fun of me of my videos. All right. So I'm just going to get the rest of this stool out here that I'm using to prop my subject up onto. All right. And whatever you use, stool, chair, table, doesn't matter. All right. You just want to make sure that we get it out of there. All right. And the nice thing about using the layer mask is that you know that if you go too far, you can always go back by switching the colors. Um, so if I went too far and I took this out, I wanted to go back, I would just hit X. That will bring white back on top. All right. And I can bring the details of that layer back in. All right. So now I have that and I'm done. Now it looks like my subject is floating. All right. Um, that's basically all that you have to do now. You might see some parts in your picture where you have imperfections, like right down here, you can tell there's a little imperfection and kind of up here is kind of, you can see it a little bit. Um, not everybody's gonna catch that, but if you catch it, it won't take long to clean it up. So what I'm gonna do for this is I'm gonna use what's known as the patch tool, all right? So the patch tool is gonna be over here on your left-hand side, right underneath the eyedropper. It might look like this, Band-Aid, with, a, with some dots, that's a spot healing brush. All right, if that's what it looks like, just click on it, hold it down, select patch tool. And the way that the patch tool works is it just blends areas. So you can tell there's a little lightness right here and then dark right here where the shadows are. All I have to do is just select the area. Doesn't have to be a great selection. And then I'm just gonna, oop, good thing I did that. All right, forgot a step. So once I have my image looking like this, I'm gonna go to layer, flatten image. All right. Then I'm going to use my patch tool. And I'm just going to select some of this area here and just move it over. 
and just blend it in with the other parts of my image. So there you go. So it all looks uniform. I got some parts up here. Can't really tell, so it won't take too much to fix that up, but that's all you gotta do. All right, so that is how we create the illusion of our subject flying. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I will make another video on how to add a drop shadow to your subject if it's needed.